Welcome to the next episode of our Tech It 2 playthrough. And in this episode, we're actually going to end up using all of these HV solar panels that uh, this factory has been just making for hours and hours while I've been doing other things. So in here, we have almost four stacks of HV solar panels. These are all uh, medium. Oh, wait, no, we got almost five stacks. Okay, perfect. So we got five stacks, I guess, of HV solar panels. And what we're going to do with all of those is make a quantum killer. So basically what it'll do is uh, I'll clear out all this land, place all those solar panels, and then more or less just run them through a uh, HV cable, uninsulated. And it'll do a bunch of damage because it's uninsulated. And, uh, you know, should kill someone in Guantum, hopefully. So, uh, it'll be a little more complicated. I'll have to do some transformers and stuff. But, uh, we'll start off by clearing all this land. So, I will do that. Alright, here's our hole in the ground. It's slightly bigger than five stacks, just because I wanted it to be a uh, perfect square. So next up is going to be filling the entire bottom with glass fiber cables, and uh, then placing all the HV solar panels on top. There's the glass fiber. Alright, and there we have it. That is 324 HV solar panels. So in Tekkit Classic, which is uh, what I mainly used to play, if you wanted to make a quantum killer, um, you needed a ton of power like this. However, in Tekkit 2, which is what I'm playing now, you only need... you can use much less solar panels if you want to, because they have these PESUs, which were not in Tekkit Classic. And these store just an unreal amount of power. I've got one down here. So you can see it can store, what is that? Uh, a billion power, one billion EU. And it outputs 32,000 EU per tick. So what I'm gonna do is place five of these up here and then I'll have those five output to a bunch of transformers to get uh, the correct uh, voltage for HV cables. And then, hopefully as easy as that, we can kill uh, some quantum. So I'm not sure the best way to set up these transformers, because this is outputting 32,000 volt. We need it all the way down to 2,000 volt. So I need some transformers. Um, I think I'm just going to place these all side by side. And then, you know, just hope it works. Alright, I've decided to use my better judgment. And flip these upside down. And I'll do all the transforming underground. Just so it's not such an eyesore. When uh, you're flying above the base and stuff. So I'll flip all these, uh, yeah, flip all these upside down. Alright, so I've got all these transformers, and basically what's working here is these solar panels um, create 500 EU per tick. They store them in these, and then these output 32,000 EU per tick. Now you could just skip the storages and go straight to EV transformers if you wanted to, I don't know, be poor or lame, but we're not going to do that. So what I have to do is change this 32,000 down to 2,000. So this IV transformer will change 32,000 to 8,000. And then the EV transformer which is uh, this yellow one here, will change that 8,000 to 2,000. And then it will be able to go through copper cable. Or HV cable, sorry. 
because if I placed a HV cable down right now, one of these connected to this voltage, it would just blow up. It can only accept up to 2000. Same with uh, glass fiber cable, that's why I'm not placing it. You have to use plasma cable if it's above 2000. So I should just be able to place these. I need four EV transformers for every one IV transformer. Oh, that's the wrong way. So let me see if this works. I should just be able to run cables from here to an uninsulated copper ca or HV cable and that should just do damage. So let me get a HV cable and we'll give it a shot. Uh, it just immediately killed me in... Okay. Okay, this is not good. Okay, it just killed me in my gem armor, which I didn't know was possible. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I have nothing. This was a mistake. <laughs> I actually didn't think you'd die at gem armor. I thought it had to be... Oh my gosh, I thought it had to be quantum because it loses charge. Oh boy. Oh boy, my items are got thrown everywhere. Out of full inventory too. Gosh darn it, dude. <laughs> I did not plan that. I didn't even realize I turned it on. There's no... Oh boy. Okay. Okay, well, at least I got that. Let's go get my stuff. Wow, it instantly killed me in full gem armor. That is something. Turn that off. Wow. <laughs> I guess it works, folks. I wasn't even ready to show it, but it works. Alright, this is pretty much all done. So, basically, I had the transformers. These are IV transformers. They transform, they uh, bring power to these EV transformers. And then all of these EV transformers are connected and just run through plasma cable. This is just plasma cable that I uh, put some construction foam on. So it just follows plasma cable outside, and then right here, these HV cables only do damage in one block around them. So this whole block area around this pole will do damage. So what I did was, you'll be walking here through a doorway, and you will take damage from all nine of these cables because you're within one block of all of them. So you'll take damage from nine sources at once, each one doing an insane amount of damage, and that is what will kill you. And then, just to make it uh, a little sneakier, if you take a CF sprayer and just right click on it, you can uh, cover all the cables so they're not seen, but they still work the exact same. And then you can take a painter, any type of painter you want, any color, and you can paint the construction foam. But you have to wait for it to dry. So this is wet construction foam. If you right click it with sand, it dries faster. And then you can actually just paint it however you'd like to. I'll just paint it green because there's grass everywhere. Oh, out of paint. And now, 
let's say this is the doorway to your base or something, or just a trap you set up somewhere. If anyone walks between these pillars, you know, if you had walls and whatever, this is the only way in, they will immediately die. I believe in quantum. At least it's the case in gem. I will test quantum in just a second, but I wanted to show you how to just disguise it and how to set it up. And um, the way it works, actually, after it goes through, so the power goes up through the cable, and then I ran a just kept running cable this way. And here I will have it end just connected to this. It just needs to be connected to a storage device so the power actually has somewhere to go. If the power has nowhere to go, the system won't run. So as soon as I place this cable here and connect it like that, the system is on and anyone who goes near that doorway will be electrocuted. So I'll put all my stuff away. I already put most of it away, but we'll do it again. Oh, I need armor on, of course. So I'll show you right now. Completely safe. You can see... <laughs> uh, that was embarrassing. Anyways. Completely safe. Nothing happens. No damage. Just a normal doorway. And now... If I place this cable here... I just die. The first tick of damage just immediately kills me. And then, oh, someone died there. All I have to do is disconnect the power source. And um, now it's safe to go. There you have it. So I'll test quantum now. Um, I had a quantum set I made in an earlier video, but I can't seem to find it. It was on an item stand. Maybe it broke and despawned. So I'll make new quantum armor, and then I will test the quantum as well. So I've crafted my quantum armor. However, I know someone is going to be like, Oh, you didn't have the upgraded chest plate or the upgraded helmet. So I'll just go ahead and upgrade it to the best chest plate and helmet as well. So one sec. So I finally finished crafting the upgraded helmet and chest plate for my quantum armor. It took, I don't know, forever, because uh, all of this random stuff you have to craft. I had to craft it into a jet plate, and then I had to craft that into a gravitation chest plate, and then craft that into the nuclear gravitation chest plate, which is what I am wearing now. And then, same with the helmet, I had to craft that into the solar helmet, and then into the ultimate hybrid solar helmet. And this uh, is a pain to craft, let's just say that. Anyways, I've got fully charged, upgraded quantum armor. This chest plate itself has 10 million EU. So I don't know, we'll see if this actually can survive. I hope not, because the whole point is to make a quantum killer, but we will see. All right. It is on. I even destroyed the cactus down there so that my items didn't fly there if I do die. Alright, I hope this kills me. Oh my gosh, it does nothing. Oh my gosh. It literally doesn't do anything. Huh. Huh. I'm not even taking any damage. Well, <laughs> um, huh, this is going to end a lot like last video. Let me quickly... Um, huh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I slept down here again. No way.
Okay, that was very interesting. I'm not sure... Like, none of these took any damage. I'm not actually sure why I didn't die the first time, but then I did die. Alright. I have my respawn set at the correct location. And I'm going to try that again, because I'm not quite sure what happened. So we turn this on. And I don't die, but if I run from behind, I die? Alright, so I believe in the top left hand corner up here, you can see energy level. And when you use your jetpack, it temporarily, just for a second, goes to 99, but the helmet immediately recharges it. See, if I take off the helmet, I stay at 99 and I don't recharge. So my theory is that I have 100% um, energy and I can't die at 100% based on my exact wattage being extremely close. So I think if I add one more of these and then add four more transformers, that should give me enough uh, damage to insta-kill me at 100%. And, uh, yeah, that's my theory, so I'm going to give that a shot. We now have six PESUs. This one is still charging, but shouldn't matter. And in the back, I added four more EV transformers down here. So now we have 24. So hopefully this will do enough damage now to insta-kill me. I've still got full quantum on. Turn it on. Alright, 100%. Dang. But as soon as I hit spacebar and use a little bit of power, I think that's the end, eh? And I spawn down here again. Unfortunately, since upgrading the power output didn't help, I have resorted to the easiest solution is just go with what works. And that is turning my doorway trap into a trap in the ground. So, now all I did was just put a hole right beside the walkway I had before, because it seems to only work if you are falling or in the air. So if I turn the power back on, I come up here and then drop in. As long as you're in the air for whatever reason, that works. So, um, does insta-kill you, it does work. Obviously, uh, if you're going to do this yourself, you can make it look a little nicer. But uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I just put a drop down right beside this uh, doorway. And yeah, so there is your insta-kill, insta-kills qu full quantum upgraded armor, and also insta-kills uh, full gem armor as well, which I found out accidentally. Just a real quick thanks guys, we just passed 100 subs, that's super cool, and I hope to see you all in the next one.